Warning, if you're under the age of 18, please be aware that watching this video may cause you to become obese, develop mental health problems, or cause large-scale social and economic consequences for society as a whole. If you're under the age of seven, and I've seen the comments you've been leaving, so I'm assuming you are, you're probably just fucked having watched this far, so best just to give up on life at this point, move into a muddy hole in the woods somewhere. A group of concerned parents, doctors, and angry letter writers have written an angry letter to the Guardian newspaper, which they've published in full in their education section. In the letter, the group explains that a screen-based lifestyle does immeasurable harm to children, and so they're asking the British government to establish guidelines regulating the use of electronic electronics, especially for children under the age of 12. Now, when I use the word immeasurable, I'm not using their language, I'm just being scientifically accurate, because the effect of screens on young minds is either so large or so small that it has thus far been unable to be detected by any scientific instruments. The group does not cite any sources in their letter, but I do know of several studies that have completely failed to show any connection between screen time and any physical or psychological damage in children. The angry letter was brought to my attention by uh, the excellent rebuttal tweets of Sarah Jane Blakemore, professor of cognitive neuroscience at University College London, who spe specializes in the adolescent brain. Uh, Professor Blakemore points to studies like a large-scale longitudinal, longitudinal analysis that found no link between screen-based activity and active play. Yes, there is an obesity epidemic, and yes, it is negatively affecting children's health, but it's probably being driven more by easy access to high-calorie, low-grade food, and not so much driven by easy access to Facebook and video games. Kids are playing video games, they're inside staring at screens, and then they still go outside and play, regardless of how much time they spend staring at a screen. Now, to give the angry letter writers their due, I agree with them that it would probably be great to have a governmental position that was focused on improving the health and well-being of children, if that position doesn't already exist. But demanding immediate action to limit the amount of screen time that children get is completely ridiculous because there's just not that much data on it. And the small amount of data we do have tells us that screens probably aren't that big of a deal. Every generation has their media that will destroy children's brains. And as a result, humanity itself, Plato, thought that it was going to be the written word uh, because people wouldn't be able to remember anything anymore because they could always just look it up in a book. And so they would no longer actually be wise. He said that men would be filled not with their wisdom, but with the conceit of wisdom, and they will be a burden to their fellows. Now, I do think humanity is pretty much a burden to me right now, but I don't think that it's because of books. Don't get me wrong, I do think that there is a good chance social media displayed on screens may lead to the destruction of humanity, but not because it makes children fat or rots their brains, but because Donald Trump just tweeted that we need more nuclear weapons to fight other countries with nuclear weapons. That's going to destroy humanity. Blame the Trumps, not the screens.